You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're back here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the final day of the 2022 season. I can't believe we're not going to be back till March. Yeah, it's really weird because February is normally the time when Pleasure Beach opens up for the new season. It's always the first park to open up here in the UK. And yeah, next year, they're weird. not opening till March. Oh, that's yeah. so strange. We thought we've got to come down today and get some last rides in, including Icon, our favourite roller coaster here in the UK. Uh, and yeah, we'll get some other rides in as well. I don't think it's going to be too busy. I don't think so. Park hours, 11 a.m. It's just opened up through until 5 o'clock. So we should just get a night ride in at the end should as well. Should just about. But yeah, yeah, come and join us as we check out Pleasure Beach for our final time in 2022. I've even got the Christmas tree up. Right then, well, we're inside the park, and yeah, it's pretty much a full ride offering, which is good. The big one's open, Icon, all the big rides, other than the Big Dipper, because they've started some work on there, ready for its 100th birthday next year. And also, Derby Racer over here, that's obviously having its annual maintenance. Yeah, big project. What I like with this is how they completely block it in all the way across there as well, um, just to make it nice for all the people who are working in there. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it blocks it off though, doesn't it? Like keeps yeah. all the workers happy and it protects the horses as well. Just in there, but uh, yeah, all blocked in, ready for that winter maintenance. But yeah, pretty much a full ride offering. Here she is, Icon, opened in May 2018 and still our favourite coaster here in the UK. And I tell you what, it's the perfect day for getting on some rides here at Pleasure Beach because it's not too busy and the weather's all right. But I remember we've been in the park in February before and the weather's been awful. So considering we're nearly in December, it's not too bad at all. Like, honestly, I'd rather the park stay open this little bit extra actually um, into the end of November than open in February because the weather tends to be better than it does earlier in the year. <laughs> Not too bad today. Yeah, it's nice. Low crowds, low wait times, and of course, get some nice rides in on Icon, right. make the most of it. Before we're going to be riding this in March, it's going to be weird not getting on this in February, especially because we love this coaster so much. However, I do feel like it's the right decision for the park. It's never been very busy in February and also it means that all the maintenance teams have got a lot of extra pressure on their hands to do things and I think with all the work that's going on still with Valhalla, a big dipper that's having some work done, other new things as well on the horizon, I think it's worth um, them spending them extra few weeks getting the rides maintained, getting everything looking fresh and of course opening the park um, a little bit later on in March. Yeah, it's going to be the middle of March 2023 when we're next going to be uh, here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But yeah, it's going to have a nice ride on Icon. Walk on. Why well, we just had an awesome ride on Icon here at Pleasure Beach. Walk straight onto there. Still running two trains though, which is good. We're running a little bit slow this morning. Yeah, I think because it's, you know, yeah, we'll let her off. It's the last day of the season, isn't it? Yeah, she's, ready. she's tired, Charlotte. Oh, no, she's ready for a rest. She wants some maintenance. That's what she yeah. wants. She's looking forward to it. Oh, look look it's after great. the beast. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. There we go. We're going to head over onto the big one now. We know the big one's only running one train, but it is nice and quiet. The other one's already been straight trip down over on the car park uh, ready for its winter maintenance to happen so yeah we'll get on the current UK's tallest coaster of course it's now confirmed that Thorpe Park will be topping that record with Project Exodus in the near future as well so stay tuned for that because we'll be covering all the updates here on the channel but yeah we're going to make our way now onto the big one and yeah as we can see nice and quiet by the end of the season last year it had actually already closed because they were doing the retrack we know there are going to be replacing some parts of the track again, but the good thing is it's still open for the last part of the season. So yeah, we're going to have a ride on here. Love this soundtrack. On the big one, how was it, Charlotte? Over the 
is, I've started to really enjoy the big one so much more. Yeah, it is a good layout. It's iconic for the UK and it's good they're doing the retrack work on Definitely. there. Uh, and of course, yeah, next time we go on it next year, some more sections will have been retracked. I hope they do a better I job know. on that section before the mid-course plate run. You get some proper lateral forces on there. Yeah. Whips you off to the side. Uh, but no, it is a really enjoyable coaster, uh, depending on the seat that you're in. Yeah. Uh, we like being down towards the back for the intensity and that whip over the first drop. But you don't want to be on the very back row, the one just in front of it. Perfect there. Right, right. Anyway, we're going now for a ride to tear on Revolution. Oh, Charlie's yeah. actually coming on. I don't like this oh, I don't know why. It's classic. It go, you normally go on at the start and at the end of the season. Yeah, it's too intense for Charlotte. It is, it's way too intense. Let's go and have a ride on Rev. <laughs> wow, Charlotte's just had a lovely ride there on the back row of Revolution. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's just so intense. Oh. I just don't like it. It's so forceful. Oh, not a fan. Oh, I love it. I do. It's such a great ride. So Brilliant steel coaster. I really like it. First forwards and then backwards. Yeah, here's a look at Infusion. Of course, opened here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's the world's first roller coaster, fully over water. However, it's a little bit different today, as we can see just underneath here. Oh, that seagull was close. As the water has been mostly drained, it's still in these lower sections here. But there you go, see Infusion without the water. Well, the good thing is, I'm glad that it's open. Same with the big one. The reason why they've actually drained the water here is because of the big one's retrack, and that is because they've settled the scaffolding up just over here, ready to go. So to be honest, I'm really pleased both these rides are open. It's not very often you hear me say, please, that Infusion's open. Um, but yeah, it's good for people who are here today, you know, to get on it, because the park could have easily said these two rides are shut, you know, ready for the work to happen. So I'm happy that they are open. Yeah, even if it is Infusion. Yeah, <laughs> well, at least, you know, for a lot of people coming down here, they can enjoy it. And of course, the big one, but yeah, I'd imagine literally, probably starting from tomorrow, uh, they're going to be uh, starting on the retrack work. Yeah, all these sections of track are going to be replaced just down here for this year. So yeah, looking forward to seeing how that rides. And of course, next year will be a very special year for a certain roller coaster here at this park. And that is the Big Dipper that opened back in 1923. And yeah, this ride, we believe is going to be having some major TLC painted up and looking really fresh, ready for its 100th birthday in 2023. It is the iconic Big Dipper just here. Maybe you've got some memories from the Big Dipper over the years, so comment down below. I'd love to hear your memories on this iconic ride here at the park. It really is great. I'm hoping they paint all the top section up there as well, and so it looks nice and fresh, ready for the anniversary. Yeah, it should be brilliant. Really looking forward to that. Of course, for the new season starting in March here in Blackpool. But when we last came to Pleasure Beach last month for Halloween, we didn't actually go on any of the dark rides. And obviously you can film on those as well. So yeah, we'll get in all the dark rides here at Pleasure Beach today. Starting off with a ride on Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic. That's the good thing about this park. Plenty of indoor attractions. So we'll start off with the ride on here. You like this, don't you? Wallace and Gromit, let's go and have a ride. Rock your body. Everybody. Yeah. Cheese! Oh, oh. Let's Who's go! Like the oh, it is. No crackers from me. We forgot to the crackers. the most beautiful scene of the ride now. Do you really like this with the music and the aeroplane? Oh, where did you get that from? Oh, that's my machine. I've got to be paid it. Smell pods are good in here today, even though it's the end of the season. <laughs> it does. There's some lovely smells in here. We sit in our slipper, wait about 15 minutes. Oh, that's quite enough. 
Oh, we're going to see the train today. We're going to see. Hey, there it is. It's all about the timing. Everything's under control. No, it's not. Sean the sheep. <laughs> Big boy! <laughs> 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 there we go! A riveting ride! <laughs> Do love the dark rides here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and yeah nice ride there on Wallace and Gromit. Thrillomatic! And yeah we're gonna make our way now onto Alice in Wonderland just over here on this lovely day. I tell you what the weather today is pretty nice for Blackpool this time it's of year. Not that cold, is it? There's no wind or anything. Like, it's lovely. The 27th of November 2022. You never forget the date when you come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach with the lovely photo opportunity just there as well. Yeah, we're going to take you on here for a ride now. Love the dark rides here at Pleasure Beach. And hopefully, we'll have that one back open next year. I'm not on about Derby Racer, by the way. I'm on about the beast there just behind it, Valhalla. We're going to have a look over there shortly, see if anything else has happened. Probably not though. Step this way and enjoy our wondrous show on Alice in Wonderland. Oh, there we go. Lovely rides. Flying machines going around us there as well. Make our way in. Let's get a golden ticket. Here at Pleasure Beach. All I want next year is a golden ticket to ride Valhalla. There we go. <laughs> Nice trommel tunnel, never lets you down. Da -da 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 -da. Good old vortex. Because I want a golden ticket. Da -da 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 -da. It's another ride, but it's got some lovely smells in here as well. It's hard to explain what the smell is, but it's such a nice smell. If you've been on this ride, before in person you'll know what I mean when I say about the smell but it's very strong considering it's the last part of the season last day I'm surprised the smells are still pumping out this much well they might have been running them out Woo. I think there's a few speakers not working in here though it seems a bit quieter than normal in fact it's pretty much silent around here there you go <laughs> it is the last day after all Oh my god, can't hear any music. I got the golden ticket. It makes it quite creepy actually without the music. Oh, there we go, it's back. There's some speakers out around there. I like these flowers with the faces in, they're some of my favourites. These are just the Blackpool classics, aren't they? Da -da 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 -da. Rise that I've grown up with, you've all grown up with. Really? <laughs> if you ever wonder why that scene doesn't really fit in as much there, it's because a lot of that theming actually came from another attraction, Trauma Towers, when that closed and they moved a few bits in into this ride. Yeah, it just looks really different, doesn't it, compared to the rest of it? I got the golden turkey. Oh, it's a lovely ride. I can sit on there all day. See you later, Cheshire Cat. See you next season. See you in March. <laughs> Grand National just over there as well. That scaffold has been up on the side for a while there now. Not actually on Grand National, but just next door. Yeah, obviously doing a bit of work onto that there as well. Yeah, what a lovely Pleasure Beach classic. Nice ride round on Alice. Love a good trip into Wonderland there with Alice. A fantastic classic dark ride here at the park. We'll let the dark rides continue. We've got a few Christmas decorations up here as well. Obviously you have got the Santa's Grotto. Even though the park closes today, the Santa's Grotto is open and also ice skating as well through until the 24th of December. Hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. Well, yeah, so you have got the uh, ice skating. 
<laughs> we all know how skating went yeah, at Warwick fantastic. Castle yesterday. The routine was just brilliant. Check out the vlog if you want to see it. Charlotte, the professional skater. Yeah, I did a big routine. And me falling over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to take you on the ghost train just here now. Another Blackpool classic. Oh. About a five minute wait for the ghost train. Normally we're ages for some of these rides, especially on a busy day. So it's nice to make the most of it. The dark rides aren't really high capacity, but that doesn't matter, they're classics. They just mean they get busy. Some of the park staff on the posters just there. There's the big gremlin just over there. <laughs> 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 Bone grinder just there. Is it? Are we going to get everything working here? Screen sound. There we go. Hey, lovely. Best scare. Oh. Classic ghost train. Here we go. Woo. going on in this ride everywhere you look. So many sounds, smells, lots happening. To make our way down to the main event. The one, the only, the cloggy himself down there. Basically most haunted came here quite a few years ago now. The episode's on YouTube somewhere. And they were ghost hunting for someone called Cloggy. Rumoured to be an old member of staff that still haunts the ride to this day. That's if you believe in most haunted. He also did a little bit in Kiss Me Quick, the shop underneath flying machines. Found a bit of ghost activity in there as well. Ride of the season on uh, the ghost train just here. We'll be cycling all winter long. Oh, it's a great ride. Well, it's absolutely deserted today here at Pleasure Beach. Look at this, like Grand National Walk On. Charlotte had a dream just there. You know what my dream is, don't you? Uh, you know what it is? Yay! I had to get a couple more vile events in this year. On a serious note, let's hope, fingers crossed, the park can get these issues rectified um, and get the ride open for next year because it needs to be open. A yeah, great ride there over on the ghost train. And yeah, to continue on with the dark ride session we've done, we'll go on River Caves just here now. Here we go. I believe in Valhalla. <laughs> Let's go and have a ride on the River Caves. We've done all four of these classics. <laughs> well, we've just gone through the Tunnel of Love there. And yeah, you know, there's a little waterfall that nearly goes off. Well, it didn't on our boat. So we got absolutely soaked just. <laughs> Can't believe that happened. Yeah, we've got a lot of lights not working here as well. You gotta think, last day, all these rides had that winter maintenance. So the good thing is they've got a good four month closure, well four and a half, nearly five month closure now to get everything sorted out, ready for next year. Very misty in here though. I can't believe that Charlotte, can you? I can't believe it. Yeah, I just wasn't ready for it. We always joke about that happening and it actually did. <laughs> so funny. The jellyfish on today? No. No? Oh, no, river caves. 
not in a great condition. But it is the last day. Still, I do fully believe that if a ride's open, it should be on full form for everyone every single day. At the end of the day, there's pay in public. We met some fans earlier. It's the first time coming to Pleasure Beach ever today. So that's the thing, rides should always be in a very presentable condition. Always remember my first ride coming on these things, you know. So, yeah, first rides are really special, especially first visits to parks and attractions as well. Time to enter the one, the only Valley of the Kings for the last time this year. I still enjoy my ride through here without any lights. When we came for Journey to Hell for Eat Nights, it was much better this year, that event. Check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it. Yeah, we had a great time. Like, we came through here with just a little lantern. And yeah, it was really good. It was very atmospheric, wasn't it? Yeah, I liked it. Music's great in here. Theming's epic. It's so dramatic. The one, the only, River Caves. Carved out of the sandstone cliff on the west bank of the Nile stand the temples of the Abu. Love how low a lot of the ceilings are as you go through the scenes there. It really makes it. I know, yeah, like mist is on full form today here at the beach. In here, anyway. We've not had icons mist all season, I don't think. I'm really missing that. It does add to the ride experience in the tunnels. So yeah, it's a bit of a missed opportunity when it's not on, so hopefully it'll be back next year. Blimey, my jokes are getting old. I've used that way too many times. Yeah. <laughs> These scenes in here, though, were very advanced for their time. You got to think this is the second oldest ride at the park. I'll tell you what's also very advanced, or should I say not advanced at all, the one, the only bin bag tunnel. It's not actually a bin bag, but we call it a bin bag just because it's a big black cloth like this. There we go. Make our way around to the drop. With how wet we got just, it's going to be nothing if we get anything here now. I think we'll be able to be all right. We've got the river caves at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh, 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 oh. Straight in. Hey, oh. Oh, lovely. Well, he said I ride down River Cave, Charlotte here, got soaked at the start. I got soaked, but I had my hood on to prepare myself. Yeah, you were prepared, I wasn't. I was, like... I thought, this ain't going on. <laughs> well, yeah, great ride, River Caves. Needs a bit of TLC, but it is the last day of the season, like I say. Here we go, we're off on Grand National now. Time for a bit of shake, rattle and roll on this classic wooden coast here at the park. Here she comes. Um, but yeah, we'll go for a nice non-wheel seat on the middle here. So obviously out of the three air gates, go for the middle one. And you will get a smoother ride. I do like the train design for these though. They are classics. Obviously they buy the salary uh, models rather in the shop that you can buy which are really nice. Oh, just the sound of it, I love it. We had our ride there on the Grand National, walk straight onto it, how was it? I have a love-hate relationship with the Grand National. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but that wasn't too bad of a ride. What do you love about the Grand National then, Charlotte? Well, like... I want a good seat, and it, you don't feel the... <laughs> 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 Every time you're going down the Charlotte over. Well, what do you hate about it? That, is that it? I oh, hate right, it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same, to be honest. It all depends where you sit. We've said it before, we'll say it again. Non-wheel seats are a better oh, ride. Right. Don't go on there expecting it to be really smooth, no. uh, like Wicker Man or something, but... So, uh, yeah, like you, you want to sit on there. It? it is. I'm so glad to keep the classics going. I still do really miss Wild Mouse here, oh, though, you no, know. I used to love Wild Mouse. It was a fantastic ride, it really was. Uh, now, of course, talking about the fantastic rides, you can see two there just behind us. Well, I would say three, but I don't really class Ice Blast as a fantastic <laughs> ride. Valhalla and, of course, Flying Machines. We're going to have a ride on one of them, and hopefully next year we'll be able to ride the other oh, one. So. Valhalla reimagined after, well, over three years now it's, it's been, been going on. Time. Yeah, there's been a few updates from Amanda Thompson OBE, of course, the owner of the park on Twitter, saying that they've been really struggling to get parts in uh, due to many reasons. So if that is the case, let's hope they can get them parts and most importantly, get this open. Oh, Ideally, this ride needs to be open for the start of the season it next really year. It really does, yeah. I want to come in, the music blasting out, the water 
sort of fall on again, the fence down. Uh, but if it's not open for the start of the season, I think Easter is like the cutoff, really, yeah, before people so are going to lose interest. You know, yeah. it needs to be open for Easter uh, here in Blackpool. You know, if we can come in opening day and all the fence be down, we'll be even if it's not open straight away, I'll be happy we to see the be, fence yeah. down, and then hopefully it'll be open ready for Easter. Oh, Fingers you. crossed. I mean, that's just a speculating, by the way. We don't well, know we nothing. Don't know. I don't think the park themselves still know no, much about it. I don't think Amanda knows much about it from what she's saying. But fingers crossed, whatever has, has happened, I hope we can see this ride back open at ASAP because, yeah, a lot of people, including myself, are so passionate about it, but we've just lost the hype, lost it's the interest because it's gone on for so long. So fingers crossed for the start of next year. 2023 is a new year. We know they've got other stuff planned for the park. Let's hope that Valhalla can be back from the start. And yeah, we've got the classic flying machine just over here. We may as well have a ride on there. Ice blast as well. Still got a few hours to go until ride close and we've done loads already. That's the thing, like when we come on the busy days, that's why we don't always go on loads of rides because we know you can come on a quiet day like this and get loads of rides in without having to wait. In the summer, it's nice just walking around, soak up the atmosphere, out, have an ice, ice cream. And chips. We'll have a fish and chips tonight. Yeah. Where are we going? We're off to Christmas by the sea tonight. We are indeed. We're yeah. Yeah, so we've got a star flyer, ice skating ring, we'll a few other rides. The ice skating ring. <laughs> Not go on it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, be checking that out and that'll be coming up in tomorrow's vlog here on Theme Bar Worldwide. Here's a look at Ice Blast in action. And talking of a Valhalla update, just thought I'd show you this whilst we're up here. They've actually blocked in the station just over there now with some nice themed boards. And yeah, there's a new Valhalla sign in the middle there as well. So there's actually been some progress which has been made here on the outside, which is really good to see. So yeah, it looks like the station is going to be blocked in unless they've done that temporary for winter. But I doubt it looking at the setup. We've got doors on there now as well over at the side. Yeah, look at that. Looks interesting, so it's going to be a darker station, probably making it more atmospheric as well. So that's a, a really good sign. So I'm not a fan of what they did at the top just here. We're blocking that in, but hopefully that's going to get some theming on. However, yeah, that's really interesting how they've done that with the sign. Oh, really interesting with that sign. Looks fantastic up there. I like the look of that. It? It's given me hope a bit with Valhalla seeing that. So. Nice to see yeah. something. Here we go, what you got here? It's like the Icon chopping board for $14.95, quite nice. It, it is, yeah, we have got a chopping board there at home. I tell you what, I do like some of this new Valhalla merchandise. Instead of Ride the Adventure, the slogan's going to be Brave the Adventure. This is great, however, I'm not purchasing until the ride's back open. When it's back open, I'll purchase. There you go, Valhalla Cushion, $14.95. I do really like that. I think a couple of those on uh, the sofa in the British Theme Park Museum when it's done will be very nice. Just had a ride then on Ice Blast. Thought we'd make the most of it with no queue. We wouldn't normally go on when there's a long wait, so we thought we'll make the most of it today. And yeah, in terms of the Valhalla update, from up there you get a great view that new sign does look fantastic so it gives me hope um, that it's gonna be very atmospheric in that station and hopefully they've done some nice changes inside because the sign looks really high quality quite high budget as well as it should be for such a world-class dark ride uh, like Valhalla but yeah I think as well with the Valhalla station I don't think it's wooden boards to put on there I think you can still see through a little bit but I imagine it's going to be quite a bit darker in there. So maybe a bit like Wickerman Station, a bit more atmospheric, maybe some nice lighting in there. Yeah, it's got me a little bit more excited again, that now. Oh, we got Bert the Seagull taking over in Blackpool today. <laughs> Grand Prix just over there, probably the biggest queue actually. Because obviously most people like to get in one car on their own so that they can drive around. Yeah, it's quite busy, probably about a 20 minute queue for Grand Prix just there today. But we're going to make our way down, have a ride on Avalanche. Another one that we don't go on very often, really, because, yeah, it always gets a massive queue, but I don't think it'd be too busy today. These birds are no, massive. Say, Look at the size. Are the biggest seagulls I've ever Look seen. Look at that seagull there. There we go. <laughs> he wants to go for a ride on Icon. Yeah. <laughs> A lovely ride there on Avalanche as the sun sets on the final day of the season here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Look at that sun going down, probably dark in about 45 minutes or so. So we should get a couple of night rides in tonight. 
Yeah, I do love how the line says, look at the layouts. Hopefully they'll finish the paintwork on there this year. So obviously, yeah, they started painting it last winter. So fingers crossed that'll all be complete by the start of the 2023 season. But yeah, it's a great ride, wait 20 minutes. So yeah, one train service. Like I say, it's not too busy though, so I don't mind. Not normally a fan of one train ops, but it is the last day and it's not very busy. I nearly went flying then. Yeah, we're going on Grand Prix now. We are, I like Grand Prix. We don't go on this very often either. I'm going to drive. Okay. You can drive. I'll get some footage. Yeah. As the sun goes down over the beach. Here comes the car just behind you there. Lovely. It looked like it was going to run you over then. Oh, yeah. It was just behind you. <laughs> Hey, here we go, waiting only less than 10 minutes there for a ride on Grand Prix. And like I say, this one's another one that gets very busy, quite a slow throughput, because most people like a car to themselves. But with us, we're quite happy sharing, aren't we? As long as I get to drive. Oh, too. you get to drive. You drive, I film. We had to put all this new fencing in, actually, earlier this year. Oh, there's the Icon train lights are on. Head down there. Last 90 minutes of 2022 operations here at the beach. But yeah, we're season pass holders again for next year. We'll be back in March. I don't know if it'll be opening day or not though, because it's looking lightly that Alton Towers might be opening on the same day, which is interesting. They could both be going head to head with opening day. So we'll see. It all depends on Valhalla, I guess. And also what they're doing with Jewel, if that's ready for the opening. Hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. Or it could be Jewel versus Valhalla. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Always a good view of Avalanche just there as we make our way up. There's a structure. Yeah, you can see the bits that they painted up. Like these bits need doing just there. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, God's cute. There you go. So keep us going up. Lovely. Yeah, I do like the interaction during the rides here. You really get to appreciate the Avalanche station from here as well. Looks really nice from this side. You don't really get to see it other than coming on it. tunnels and areas to go around. Great ride. A bit bumpy here, Charlie. You're not very good at steering. I'm really sorry. You actually need to steer this because obviously even though it's on a guide rail, it makes it very bumpy and uncomfortable. You don't steer it on the corners. I'm glad you can drive proper cars better. Oh no. <laughs> Tell you what, I wish I had the camera rolling then viewer. Charlotte's riding was atrocious. I don't really know. I'm not blaming myself for that. It's we're getting a driving ban for that. We're going like this all over. Great, I hope you don't like that on the M55 going out of Blackpool. That was crazy. Yeah, I love a good ride on Grand Prix. Get a few more rides in and yeah, a couple of night rides as well. What is going on with this? Like, are you doing it or what? Look, it's just going like this side to side. Like, what is even happening? Turn it right. I said, what is it? It's a car, it's doing it by itself. What? End of the season. Love a good ride down the Grand Prix normally, but not today with Charlotte's driving there. It was rough. Did you enjoy it? No, it wasn't great. I that. thought it was quite good to be honest. Was it your driving there or was it the I ride really there don't at the end? Know, to be right. <laughs> the it's wheel. To be fair, you weren't turning it that much and no, then it started juddering. So I don't know, maybe it's just giving up because it's the end of the season. Probably the same down here for Nickelodeon Streak as well. Looks like that started giving up. It was getting round earlier on. But yeah, I can't actually see the train anywhere, to be honest. Has it not made it back to the station or something? Or maybe it's on the brake roll issue with the brakes, or is it on the lift? I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, Nickelodeon Street's down, so I don't think we're riding that. We'll have to do uh, Rugrats instead. <laughs> it's not on the lift hill. Where's the train gone? Oh, it must be on the brakes. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, Rugrats. I'm pretty sure last year you went on Rugrats uh, during the Christmas event. in action here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Final hour of the day. The music's pumping down here at the big one. And we're going for our probably last ride of the season on here. I think we might get one more in 
in the pitch black, but yeah, the sun's going down, so I thought we'll go for a ride now and make the most of it here on the big one before heading over, of course, for a bit of icon in the dark. Well, we just had a lovely ride there on the big one. It wasn't quite pitch black, but you know what? In a way, riding it in the golden hour is perfect just like that. Because look at the sky just there. All the lights here at Pleasure Beach. Love this park at night. It's always nice to be here and a delight to enjoy the park in the dark. And we're going to end it now with our final ride of the season. Oh, Timon on Icon just here. Dare to ride. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. All the lights on. This is it. Pleasure Beach. For 2022, are you ready to say goodbye for the year? Yes, I am. Oh, and ready then we'll be back. Season. March 2023, we'll be back. we'll be back with some more, including our favourite coaster just here, Icon. Look at that. I've filmed this ride too many times. <laughs> I know when it's coming. We'll see when we come off. ride whammy there on Icon to end our season here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh, I'm going to miss not going on there till March. Yeah, you've got to think four months is quite a long time, isn't it, to not go it on is. there. One of our, well, our favourite coasts in the UK and one of our all-time favourites. It's a great ride Icon for this park. It really changed Pleasure Beach in 2018 uh, and an amazing steel coaster here uh, is what the park needed. So I love it so much. And night rides on it like oh, that. even better. Oh, fantastic. But uh, of course, thank you to all the staff this thank year so who much. we've seen and interacted with. Um, these with the park as well. You know, normally it's the last one to close and the first one to open. This year it's going to be a bit weird it like is, that. It is, I really is going to be different. As we said earlier on though, let's hope for an awesome 2023 oh, season. So. Valhalla open from the start would be amazing. Oh, if not the first few weeks for Easter, I think it's when they need to be aiming for, uh, if not the start of the season. 100%. But uh, yeah, it's been a, a nice season to come back to the park. We've had some good late night riding, some good fireworks, lots of memories here. We have indeed. We've met so many fans here at Pleasure Beach so as well. Many. We'll probably meet more fans here than anywhere else, I'd say. So many. Uh, here at Alton Towers and it's lovely to meet you all so if you ever see us at a park of course say hello have a photo it's always great to meet our fans and we really appreciate all of your support. Like we mentioned earlier though, whilst we're still here in Blackpool, we're going to check out Christmas by the Sea, oh, which is the event run by the council um, down by the tower. And yeah, we've got a big candy cane as the tower, there's the ice skating we'll ring, uh, the star flyer and a few of the rides. Let's check it out. Yes, that's all going to be coming up in tomorrow's vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. But yeah, until March 2023, that leaves with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep on riding. riding. See you in tomorrow's vlog.